super excited to share with you this bikini cover i am telling you this is so easy to make and i promise you you can use any fabric you want one of the fabric you can use is um transparent like this one which is a sheer fabric or you could use a chiffon which is also transparent but you can also use a fabric that is not transparent at all you know and it will still come out very beautiful this is so nice and easy to make so while you're watching it i want you to know that i would love you to subscribe to my channel also if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and then share it with your friend leave a comment and also hit the notification button so that whenever i share a video you would know immediately so while you're here i also want you to know that if you decide to make this for yourself i want to be tagged i want you to also take a picture of you wearing it because i know it's gonna look so beautiful on anybody and um i'm going to be like minimal i'm not going to say a lot in this video so just watch enjoy and if you have any question please feel free to leave it at the comment section and let me know so enjoy the video and see you at the end All right, for starters, this is two yards of uh, sheer fabric. So I divided it into one yard each. So each of the yard is going to sew. One part will be for the front and the other part for the back. For the front piece, I'm going to divide it into another two piece because it's like, you remember the front has two pieces. So we're gonna divide this by two. And basically I'm going to trim excess fabric or like the rough edges i'm going to trim them out and um, when i do that i will divide the front piece by half so just keep watching Next up, I'm going to fold the back into two. I'm not cutting it, but I'm going to cut the neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure three by two inches. So the long length would be two inches, while the, like, um, the shoulder part would be three inches. So basically, when I do measure that, I'm going to cut it, curve the, curve the cut, and just cut the neck. But I left because I wanted to pick up something. So next up, I'm going to actually cut it right now. So three by two. So now we have the neck. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to put the front piece on the back. What I'm looking at is to have the same length at the shoulder part. So I'm gonna cut out the extra fabric which so we can have the same length and then i'm going to cut it up to like 
uh, at 13 inches by the center front so that is done i'm going to open up my fabric i'm going to place the front piece on it and the reason is i'm going to sew the shoulder part together and make sure when you're sewing it to leave like um up to one inch sewing allowance because again we are going to sew it twice basically uh let me see how i can explain this so you're going to sew the the shoulder part by one inch right so when you do sew it you're going to open up the seam so when you open up the seam you're going to sew it like that as it's open you're going to sew it on each part of the fabric so look at that now i'm going to i'm opening it and then when i do open it if you can iron it just sew the seam down to the fabric the reason we're doing this is to have space in between each uh, allowance so we can place our rope now i'm about to cut the rope i'm going to cut it by one inch or one and a half depends on what you how thick you want it so i cut it i think it was about one and a half one one and a half but basically you can actually I cut one and a half, but I trimmed it a lot. So it ended up being like one inch. So one inch by 45, I cut it twice. And I also cut an additional fabric, which I didn't use. So all you need is two pieces of one inch by 45. So one of the pieces will be for the waist rope, and the other one will be for the shoulder piece. So me measuring it and um, you're going to fold it by the one inch and then you're going to sew it throughout when you do sew it you can trim it and then you're going to use whatever you have to uh, turn it inside out which is what you see me doing right there so i did go ahead and turn it inside out basically for you to use this particular one you have to cut it on the side and Afterwards, it took a while, but just keep watching and see what happens. Make sure to knot the edges, which is what I did. Whatever you want, you can like put the decorative beads at the edge, whatever works for you. But for me, I just knock, uh, knock it and left it like that. I think it will, maybe later on, I might put like a bead at the edge and do it. It's gonna be pretty. But because again, you know, we're going to have this on the shoulders, well, so just. to hold it together before I sew it.
so it's all complete and the next thing is to just open them up and basically next thing we're going to do here is to measure the part of the waist i mean yeah the sides that we're going to sew we're going to measure it so here i did measure like 13 so it's going to be 13 inches from the shoulder so i measure 13 inches i'm going to sew six inches that's all i'm going to sew at the waist so when i completed sewing the waist the next thing i did was to hem the edges so hem every part of the edges that's both sides and then the front piece so that completes the sewing thank you for watching